Hey, and welcome to Gifted Ear Music Studio. Today, I'm going to teach you how to play Call It What You Want by Taylor Swift as an accompaniment. First, let me play it for you. Cause my baby's fit like a daydream Walking with his head down I'm the one he's walking to So call it what you want, yeah Call it what you want to My babies fly like a jet stream High above the whole scene I'm the one he's walking to So call it what you want, yeah Call it what you want to teach you this song using chords. Each chord that I teach you, you're going to play four times in a row. I'm going to also teach you this song through the lyrics. So we're going to start with the first little section, the first sentence. It says, because my babies fit like a daydream. The first chord that we have is your D major chord. It's like a little triangular chord. You have D, F sharp, and A. And you're going to play this four times, because my babies fit like a daydream. Okay, so after you play that four times, you're going to jump all the way up to A. And you're going to do that four times with walking with his head down, and this comes in and walking. Walking with his head down, I'm the one he's looking to. So at that point, on two, you're going to go all the way down to this E. E is made up of E, G sharp, and B. And you do that four times. Two. And then we have F sharp minor. Wow, that's a mouthful. It's actually pretty easy. You have F sharp, middle finger plays A, pinky plays C sharp. Call it what you want, yeah, call it what you want to. And then we repeat. So we go back to the D major, and we do that four times. So when it says my babies fly like a jet stream, my babies fly like a jet stream, high above the whole scene. So A major. And then four times, da da da. And then we come back down to E. Call it what you want, yeah, call it what you want to. And at this point, what I would do is I would go all the way up a whole octave, and you're going to be setting. Let me see if you can see. I need to move my camera a little bit. Okay, that's better. At the very beginning when you listen to the song you hear like an instrumental thing going on and this is exactly what I'm going to teach you how to play on the piano. So you have E, G sharp, A. And this is, you're going to find your pinky is, might struggle a little bit because pinky is the weakest link in the piano and your pinky gets a lot of exercise in this little section. You're going to play E, G sharp, A. And you're going to do that one, two, three, four times. And then you're going to, instead of playing two, four, five, you're going to play two, five, four, four times as well. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you can repeat that one more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, we just need to add in the left hand. While your right hand plays the chords four times each, your left hand is going to be playing the note name of the chord. So when we're playing our D chord first, our left hand is just going to be playing the D note, and it's going to be playing once for every four times the right hand plays, unless you want to get creative, and then you can kind of mess around with the rhythm here and when your left hand comes in and make it kind of fun. But for now, we are just going to be playing the D note when the right hand plays the first chord in the four. So one, two, three, four. You can think of this note that you're playing in the left hand as a whole note. You're going to be holding it down for all four counts that the right hand plays. And you're going to be playing the A. So honestly, your left hand doesn't have to move. It can stay here because you can reach your A. You can reach your E. You just have to move your thumb up one. So. And 
what I would do as far as your F sharp is I would move your thumb up to play your F sharp here, like that. Okay? I don't actually know this song that well, but I'm going to hum it. I don't have the words with me, so. And then it repeats, okay? So you're going to play that whole thing that I just taught you two times in a row. And at this point, you're going to jump up to the right hand, and you're going to play. Okay? And you're going to do that in the right hand. And the left hand is going to be starting off on D. So... You know how I said that you're going to play that little section four times in a row. So the first two, now you're going to have to really count and think about this, the first two are going to go along with D. So you're going to play D on that first note and hold it down for the two. So one, two. Now when you are moving, the left hand is going to be playing A on the second one. Now you're going to be going in reverse like that and on that you're going to be playing E and just holding it down the whole time. So your left hand has D, A, E, D, A, E. Cause my baby spit like a daydream, walking with his head down, I'm the one he's walking to. Call it what you want, yeah, call it what you want to. My babies fly like a jet stream, high above the whole scene, I'm the one he's walking to. So call it what you want, yeah, call it what you want to. There you have it. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share the video. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.